Uruguay's fighter jets can't break the sound barrier. But in her decade-long career, Major Echeverri has certainly crushed gender boundaries. 38-year-old Mario Ojeña last year became the country's first woman Air Force combat major. After starting out as one of Latin America's first female fighter pilots in 2002, she now has taken over a carrier squadron of her own. At first, I was going to go back to flying A-37 fighter jets, but command decided that I would go on to lead a linking squadron. It's the first time a woman heads a flight unit, a small one, but it's still the first time and it has been a real challenge. Getting an all-male aviator squad on board with a female recruit wasn't easy. Echeverri was first ordered to cut her hair in a male style, then to wear a uniform of heels and a skirt. Co-workers shunned her during her first years on the job. With time, however, colleagues accepted her as just another pilot. And when she became pregnant with her son, now three, there were few problems. Except, of course, being grounded. During those nine months when I wasn't flying, since I continued to work anyways, I did maintenance in Squadron 2. Every time the pilots walked to the planes, I said this is so painful. It's so painful that they're going to fly because I couldn't. Her promotion means that Chaveri has quit flying fighter planes for now. But she enjoys a holy respect from her new squadron. When we were at military school, we already knew there was a woman. She was an Alpha fighter jet pilot before and we were like, Wow, a female alpha pilot, she must be pretty spicy. Spicy in the sense that it must be very complicated to be a woman in an atmosphere of fighter pilots. Though she continues to work mostly with men, Echeverri commands two female subordinates now.